Welcome to our classic car now. Over the weekend I had a bit of a move around as you can see little dodges over there now. I've built a bit of a platform for it so that because this garage drops down from the top garage uh, I thought if I built a platform across then it just made it easier to move cars in and out of there. So that worked out quite well. Well it did take a fair bit of reorganisation. As a result, I have moved the little Morris Minor out. Now, a couple of people have asked about this Morris Minor because it's appeared in the back of several videos, but not actually been the subject of one for many years. If you ever delve into the further recesses of this channel, pretty much one of the first videos I ever uploaded was a film of firing up the engine on this particular Morris Minor. Now, this is a 1932 Morris Minor two-seater. That's what they were called. It's a side valve engine of, I think, just under 850cc. And the Morris Minor was the forerunner, if you like, of the Morris 8. Um, the technology, such as it is, is altogether simpler on these cars, which is one of the reasons I like it. Um, it's a breezy day. I apologise if it's a bit blowy. But yep, we've got a small four-cylinder side valve engine there. We've got an electric fuel pump, which is something it shared with the Morris 8 and an SU carburetor. Um, but the brakes on these are all cables rather than hydraulic which I prefer on older cars to be honest as I've said before so yeah I bought this back in 2009 quite a while ago now and I did start doing a bit of work to it I got it running and I've driven it around a little bit and like I said there is a video showing it running which I'll include a link to at the end of this particular video and it was a sort of the classic story, other things happened and I got distracted as is so often the case with these projects and it kind of got pushed into the corner, literally in this case and there it stayed, I've moved it around a few times but progress kind of came to a halt partly because around 2007, 8, 9 that's when the restoration of the big Dodge truck really kicked into gear and that swallowed all my time, money, effort, energy and so on for several years, so this sort of got parked in the background and it never really started up again so I would like now that it's sort of in a more prominent position to have a bit more time to spend on it and see if we can just progress things forward a little bit like I say this is a two-seater car and I bought it from a lady who'd had it stored in an outbuilding for many many years it was alongside a standard Vanguard phase one van um, which I tried to buy but was unsuccessful unsuccessful with and she'd been given this particular car on her 21st birthday and she used it quite regularly and so on throughout the 1960s and then it got laid up I think towards the end of that decade and ever since it's been tucked away in her garage and then since 2009 in my garage and it's a it's just a nice little simple two-seat tourer sporty-ish but not particularly quick car and as you can see I started dismantling it a little bit because there was some wood that needed replacing I made new inner arches here just out of just out of wood that's all they were they were very simple but they were very wormy wood wormy the ones that were in there so I replaced those cut some new ones out and installed those and they seem to be holding up pretty well the bodywork is okay so as with most cars that I've owned over the years, I've tried to keep it looking pretty much original. It's obviously been repainted at some point in the dim and distant past. I think it was black originally, looking at the old logbook. But it's been this sort of mid-green colour for quite some time. I removed the sills, which are only like a cosmetic piece under here, which is just held on with little tacks. That's all there is, nothing better. It's not welded on, because you've got an ash frame here. So... A friend of mine came, kindly made me up a set of new sill covers, if you like, to go on there. So they just need fitting. And they'll be in there somewhere. Hiding behind. Oh, there's the old... There's the original... What's it, a motometer, is it? Yeah. The old Boyce motometer. That goes on top of the radiator, and that's your temperature gauge. So when you're driving along that goes on there and you can see where your temperature is at I mustn't lose that put that there so yeah so this is the like I said this is the Morris Minor which I would like to start doing a little bit more work on hopefully 
it's still got some of the old paperwork with it happily the original registration is still on it so that's all good news and they're fairly they're fairly unusual little cars Austin 7s tend to be the most coveted if you like of the small cheap low cost if you like small two-seater cars of the 1930s but interest in the Morris mine has increased uh, a few years ago the VSCC in their wisdom decided that these could then become eligible for VSCC competition whereas previously it was only the overhead cam the slightly earlier for um, Morris Minor side valves that would be eligible to compete in VSCC events trials auto tests and so on but now the side valve cars are also eligible for their events which has increased interest in them somewhat and as an alternative to an Austin 7 I think they're quite an interesting option I like these I think they're nice little cars for some time I ran 1934 Morris Minor Saloon which anyone who's been around the main website and the old classic car forum for any length of time will have seen photos of I ran that when my lad was really small but as he <coughs> as he grew up we needed a larger car so that's when little Dodge came along so we could carry all his stuff in the back changing gear you know the sort of thing so the little Morris the 34 Morris Saloon had to go and that's why we ended up buying Dodge and it's been with us ever since. Like I say this I bought in 2009 something of a barn find and uh, yeah I really love it. I've got quite a few spares for it now I've got some extra wings I bought a body shell for a saloon and that's where these seats came from because someone had fitted a bench seat in here out of an old bus uh, which was all falling to pieces and full of woodworms so I threw that out but these sort of seats came out of a Morris Minor saloon and being tatty and dark green I thought these would be perfect for the little two-seater so I kept those and they're here they just need a bit of a cleanup so I think what I'll do in the next few days is take all this stuff out of here and just remind myself of what exactly I have got and what it is I might need to find now off the top of my head it actually ran quite well I need to go and blow off the dust on that video that I mentioned before and just remind myself how well it did actually run I think there was a, a water leak on the radiator at the top somewhere up here it's the old honeycomb style radiator which I think you can see there. So it was leaking at the top. Now whether that will need replacing completely or whether it can be repaired, I'm not quite sure. But I think the thing to do is take all these bits and pieces out, just assess what's here, where I got up to in the renovations, and then turn my attention to probably firing it up again and just get it running and just remind myself how well it runs. Like I say, I've driven it. So I know in principle the gearbox clutch engine work. It'd be nice to remind myself exactly what's what. I think these were st in standard original form. I think these were a three-speed gearbox. But I've got a feeling that this car has been converted to four-speed. Which just makes it a little bit more usable. I think there's a spare gearbox with it somewhere as well. So I thought I'd just do a quick intro on the 32 Morris Mine. It's a car I'm very fond of. But, and it hasn't really had much coverage yet on the channel apart from like I say that one of the first videos that I ever posted back in whenever it was 2009 2010 so I thought that was hope that was of interest I know some of you like the pre-war cars like I do I know you're a bit disappointed um, that the Talbot had to go but I did need to cut back on things a little bit but hopefully that'll mean that I've got more time to spend on the cars that have been overlooked for far too long including this 1932 minor so thanks for watching please have a look at the rest of the channel if these dusty old crusty old cars of interest to you and uh, more videos very soon thanks for watching <laughs>